Okay guys, for today, we have a trip up to Vale planned. We're gonna be visiting Oktoberfest up there. I went last year and it was a blast, so uh, why not go again? And then, just so happens that with Shift Colorado, uh, I was able to get a media pass for the Vail Concours, which is pretty awesome. If you don't know what a Concours is, it's basically just a fancy car show where there's judging involved. So we'll see how it goes, and hopefully the weather holds up. It's getting a little bit chilly up in the mountains now that we're getting closer to fall. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So yeah, I was driving along and suddenly I saw my air light come on for my tires. And at first I was like, man, that's actually pretty normal. We're going up in altitude and it's getting a little colder. So I bet that's the case. Driving along for a little bit longer and uh, hit a small bump, just like a drainage, a little channel in the highway, pretty normal. Felt the car get a little squirrely, saw the traction control light come on, so I was like, all right, time to pull over. And lo and behold, the tire corded uh, on the edge closest to the center of the car. And not exactly sure what caused that. Uh, you guys will find out more in a future video once I confirm uh, what actually happened here. But would love to know your thoughts on what caused this, so... Leave a comment below, and uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully everything's okay. All right, guys, we made it back home all in one piece, which is great. A big shout out to Ivan's Towing Company out in Dillon, Colorado. Uh, he took the absolute utmost care when loading the Audi R8 onto the flatbed. The tire wear on the tire that uh, ended up going flat was very odd. It almost looked like I was running like a, a stance camber. Like the 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 wear on it was very odd. And I checked the other side, you know, the uh, the the driver's side rear with the one that's still intact. It does not have that wear, which is really interesting. So comment down below what you guys think. Um, my only thought is that it just got out of alignment somehow. I guess the R8 just caught that perfectly, and we just went like into a ditch, basically, a really shallow ditch. Oh, or maybe there's like a control arm that's starting to get a little lackadaisical and failing in some way. But uh, yeah, glad that it made it home fine. Uh, R8 wasn't scratched at all, which is great. Uh, I am curious to see if I'm going to need to pick up a new Voss and wheel because... The inside of that wheel looks crazy scraped up, but we'll handle that another day. For now, the R8 is down and it's going to be chilling in the garage until further notice, but I'm still going to attempt to go up to Vail tomorrow to cover the Concours event as well as meet up some, with some friends that are going to be at Oktoberfest. Uh, we're probably going to be taking the Silverado tomorrow, um, but yeah, it is what it is. So. Yeah, we will see you tomorrow morning. And hopefully the truck doesn't get a flat tire on the way up. <laughs> that would suck. The next day. Man, it is a chilly one this morning, but it's time for round two up to Vail for the concourse car show, as well as a little bit of Oktoberfest action. So should be a fun time. Um, I need to go on far end some McDonald's ASAP. <laughs> Thank you. 
sums up the Veil Concourse as well as the little bit of Oktoberfest that I got to experience up there this year. I did enjoy the variety of cars that were up there and with the judging and everything it was actually really cool to see the different categories that they had set up like the pre-World War II. They had categories specific to exotics, um, it was just a nice spread. Uh, the only thing that I wish is that the area was larger so that way more cars could attend. Uh, that was really only my uh, my gripe with it. But as far as the location though, although it was small, uh, it's beautiful. So uh, for those of you that don't know, Vail, Colorado is a very, very popular uh, ski town here in Colorado. Yeah, overall, just my experiences with the owners of the cars, it was very pleasant. You know, I just would ask them how long they've owned the car for, uh, you know, uh, how many miles are on it, etc. And yeah, everybody was super pleasant to talk with. Um, the volunteers and that team were all super great. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to connect with Mark, the organizer of the concourse but hell man hopefully next year <laughs> but yeah overall i'd say i was super satisfied with that um and I, I know that took a lot of organization in order to figure out where the cars should sit um etc so props to the whole team there and we'll see you next year hopefully next year i'll be able to bring the r8 to it and get it parked on that beautiful grassy field i think that's gonna do it for the little veil uh vacation up there um yeah now it's just uh the drive back i love traffic definitely not the case but yeah uh i will say it is nice to be stuck in traffic surrounded by beautiful views <laughs> now, that is a benefit of traveling into the colorado rocky mountains on i-7 baby all right guys so we made it back down no issues whatsoever. Despite having the flat tire with the R8 and having to get that towed back home, uh, I felt like I was still in very good spirits throughout the entire thing, which was awesome. It was still well worth it to wake up early on Sunday and head up to experience the Vail Concours. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, let the algorithm know that I'm doing a good job. And also we crossed over 50 subscribers, which is great. Uh, I'm super excited about that. Next up, we got to cross 100 and just keep growing from there. So um, thank you guys so much for the support. As a reminder, I upload every Sunday and we will see you in the next one.